Are skull crackers any good? Now, this isn't really the question. The question is if the skull cracker is better at melee than the iron demon, because the skull cracker can only do melee. It doesn't have any gun. It doesn't have any ranged weapon whatsoever. So I'm going to do a direct comparison, and this is a bit of a difference in the usual format because it's more showing than telling. Here we have Iron Demons on the charge, and you can see that when infantry are running towards you and you ram into them, they just melt. They vaporize. However, the Iron Demon has some difficulty turning around in masses of infantry. It is doing these side steam attacks here, and then occasionally it is going to do the big steam attack that you see I saw just now. And the one in the foreground is going to do more of those. The one in the background I think does a little bit more, but this is the basic attack pattern of the Iron Demon when engaged in melee with the troops. More steam attacks like that, more to the side. And there you have a big splash. I think that was a big one. So you see how, yeah, there, that was a big one. So you see how that the Iron Demons are trying to deal with this. They're trying to just get infantry off their back with uh, sending the steam their way. And one more big one, right in the middle of the enemy troops. And these, of course, are skull crackers, and they have the same sort of effect if they're charging head on. They have so called collision damage, that's a head on collision. Are, are iron demons and skull crackers insured? I don't know. Probably not. So you're going to start seeing the difference in attack animations here. They're a lot busier. Now there you see the Skullcracker attachment actually doing something. Often you're not. Often you're seeing the steam just blow things away instead, but they do look busy. So let's take a better look at that really soon. And here we start out. You're not going to poke anything because there's nothing in front of you. I think that's a useless animation that doesn't actually do any attack with the spear thing. Now, that cone of steam to the front, that's a different story. So this was the wrap-up of one of my test skirmishes. Here's some more pitched melee and you see people just flying around. So don't these animations seem more tightly packed? Here we have another charge that was through engaged lines, which is interesting. Because we got the full marching the vaporization effect, but this is a side charge, and just look at the slaughter that this can do in ideal circumstances. Wait for it, wait for it. Ooh, just a trail of death. Very impressive. So this is basically pitched combat with uh, one unit. Yeah, these animations feel like they're faster. I mean, the Iron Demon is not terrible in melee, by any means, and it's great on the charge, but it feels like this is just better. Just better. So in conclusion, I didn't want to prejudice my results before I really saw this stuff and get into the nitty gritty, but it just looks like the Skullcracker has better animations for actually fighting infantry. And I emphasize infantry because any kind of cavalry is going to 
break up your charges, uh, going to, well, you don't have any bonus against infantry. It's just a harder job for this. But you saw that side charge one. Uh, that was incredible stuff. These units have potential if they're being used against the targets they are intended to fight. But I think that between the Iron Demon and the Skullcracker, both are equally effective on the initial charge. And the Skullcracker is much better, it feels like, in pitched combat. Because the animations are just better for it. Please consider liking, subscribing, and donating to my coffee page. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you.